Coming to a website redesign, I think the most important phase, even above designing, is the discovery phase. So this is where you very clearly understand what is the objective behind this redesign, why the particular business even decided to redesign in the first place. Hi, I'm Atira. I'm a lead designer at Everything Design. So this comes with a lot of questions like what was the problem with the existing website, what works, doesn't work, the why behind it, and getting all that information up front. And at the end of it, you also very clearly understand this new business objective, which is the reason why they want to redesign their entire website. Once this is clear is when uh, we ask them for a download of all the resources that they have, because we want to make sure that we do understand their business solutions, services, offerings, product platform very clearly in order to move on to the next step. And as usual, as it is for a website design process, we do the content strategy, design development, etc. But one thing that I found is an often unspoken part is the brand guide and the role that it plays when it comes to just the visual design, when you do the website redesign. Oftentimes we do work with brands that already have an existing brand guide and for very just reasons they do not want to change their branding because they already have an established name and place in the market. But maybe it does look outdated, it is in need of a refresh. So how can the website still look new? but still retain the old brand. So that is a very fine line and a challenging thing that uh, we need to overcome. That's also something that we do here at Everything Design, where we decide in a brand guide what are the elements that you can best use, what you can modify without letting go of the core brand language, what you choose to keep, what you choose to remove. These are the key pointers that really make or break your website redesign.